you see over 20 sex tapes hand over to feds by our Cali ex employees. But he said we killing him. Hmm. It appears that our Kelly enablers are having a call of conscience. Yeah, as employees report, reportedly, yeah, turned over at least 20 tapes. Mm -hmm. It seems both Griggs and the federal law enforcement sources say that the tapes show multiple victims and prosecutors. Prosecutors confirm with multiple witnesses that the girls were underage. Greg says several of Kelly and Abler's past and presence flipped and turned over the tapes to investigators. They say those tapes were actually what the feds needed to secure indictments for sex crimes, including child pornography. Now, Again, who broke this story, Tasha K, four months ago? Listen to this. Two, after you viewed my part one, the exclusive breakdown of all of R. Kelly's alleged pedophile ring members, okay? Now, part two, as promised, is going to exclusively break down the relationship between the parents and their daughters and R. Kelly. It's also important to know that R. Kelly has yet to be charged for the alleged trafficking and assault on the girls I'm about to unwind in this video, particularly Azrael Clary, Dominique Garner, Joycelyn Savage, Faith Rogers, and Hallie Calhoun. All of these girls were allegedly trafficked by R. Kelly and his pedophile ring members, those exposed in my part one. That video is below in the description box if you want to catch up on all of the Happy. details surrounding Tasha's the case built the beans four months ago. She told us this to, was okay? going to happen and that they were going to turn on him. Mm -hmm. Click like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell button. Follow your girl.